Hi, Scott from Pimp My PS3 here again with another instructional video for you. This time the video is going to be the reassembly of the backwards compatible system. Hello, Khan. Oh, hello. You going to say hello? Okay, the uh, motherboard has been removed like in the last video and what we're going to do here is apply some Arctic Thermal heat sink compound. Arctic silver fire. That's what I like to use. Put some on like so. And I like to use a little spatula. Very light coating of the Arctic silver five heat sink compound. Like so. And once you get your coating on there, you can start to assemble the motherboard. Okay, the uh, this is where the video output and uh, audio output and stuff go through. And you take it like so, and line up the ports so that they fall in there. Like so. Okay. There's two little pins right here. You gotta make sure that those pins are in the holes. Then you take the other casing and you hook it in your little tabs on the bottom. Make sure you get all three tabs in there. Okay. And you sandwich the motherboard in there again. Make sure the two little pins in the upper two corners go through. Okay, what I like to do now is I like to take the two bigger of the set of screws that you took out of the motherboard, put those back in first, one there, and one here. That just helps keep the motherboard sandwiched together so it doesn't move. Then I flip it over and I put the two smaller screws in on the uh, hard drive case. Hello, Con. You're noisy. You hear me in here talking, you think I'm talking to someone. I'm talking to people on YouTube. Okay, now that you get the two screws back in your hard drive casing, you're going to take the power plug from the battery, plug that in. Okay, now we're going to take our fan slash heat sink. Fan slash heat sink has been cleaned. Again, the surface of the two chips and the heat sink have been cleaned with rubbing alcohol and a clean cloth. I'm going to take it like so. There's a couple of little pins it has to line up on. It slides down nice and easy. Take the power plug. Pull the power for the fan back in. Put the wires under the little tab. Right here, there's a little tab that sticks out, and the wires go underneath that tab. Okay, right there. Tuck those wires in, plug it in. Now you're going to have to hold the fan and flip it over so the fan doesn't fall off. And then lay it down on the fan. Take the two heat sink clamps. Drop the screws in them. Another clamp. I like to bend these clamps a little bit too. I didn't bend them yet. I'm gonna give this one a little bend. Just put a little more tension on it. This is what's gonna squeeze the uh, heat sink to the two little processors that we coated. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start to squeeze out a little bit of that heat sink compound that we put on there and spread it out evenly. Uh, so that's why you wanna put a thin layer Stop the screws a little bit each, go around on the rotation, give them a couple of turns each time so you're tightening them evenly. Okay. Okay. Give them a little snug. A little snug. You don't want to over tighten them. Just make sure that they're snug. Okay. Now the fan is attached and it won't fall off. Ok. Ok 
Okay, gonna take the plastic power plug, put that back on the back now that the fan's back on there. It actually clips onto the top of the casing and the fan. There's three clips on the bottom, two clips on the top. Put that back in like so. We're gonna slide our hard drive back in. Slide it forward. Put our little blue screw. Through the hole, we'll hold the hard drive in place. Okay, now we're gonna put our screw back in the ground wire. You want to do these steps as I'm doing them. If you put this wire in after the power supply, then this wire isn't going to be underneath the foot of the power supply. The foot of the power supply actually screws in here. You want that wire under the power supply. I'm going to put the power supply back in now. Plug the wire in the back. Slide it in. Line up the two prongs. Push down on it. I'm going to take our five screws. Got five screws back in. Hello. I'm gonna take our now that the five screws are in, I'm gonna take our white power plug, plug it into the motherboard. And then plug it into the power supply. Okay. Now we're gonna take our Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi board. I'm gonna put that in first. Make sure your brown clip is up. Take a little screwdriver here. Brown clip up. You're going to slide the ribbon cable down. Push it down until you feel it seat. And then push down on the brown clamp to hold it. Okay. Slide it underneath this little foot right here. Like so. Okay. Now we can put our four screws back in there. After we get our four screws back in like so. We're going to do our ribbon cable for the memory card reader. Lift up on the brown latch. Push the ribbon cable in. You can see there's a blue line, a black line on the blue part of the ribbon cable. Make sure that that goes even with the top. And then push down on the brown clamp to lock it in place. And we're going to take our eject, power eject setup. We're gonna, there's no clamp on this, it just pushes down inside like that. Okay, I'm gonna put our screw back into the wire, wireless reader. This is the antenna for the wireless, the Wi Fi. I just screwed back in there. Okay, now we're gonna take the bottom of the case and we can put the PS3 back in its casing. Okay, take the little metal plate. There's two pins in the front here. Then you flip your eject over the two pins also. Okay. Now we're going to take our screws from the motherboard. And we're going to put them in like screw. I like to do this the back screw first, what I do is I, you can see right here, I lift up on the corner because this is kind of loose. I lift up on the corner and I tighten that one up first. Got a little bit of place. Then I go right up the rail, right down there. Grab one here. There's little arrows on the motherboard. Tells you where the screws go. The fourth hole you skip and you go right up directly to the corner hole where the bracket is for the eject. Put one in there. Put another one in the other end of the eject. And then I put two in that eject board. The Bluetooth Wi-Fi board is, and then the last one goes right in the corner, in the front. And there we have it.